Sticks come sail away, 98.3 The Snake, the classic rock station. Things I don't want to hear right before I go on the air, as long as you don't have a rash. <laughs> That's um, <laughs> hanging out in the studio with me, and we're going to talk about uh, this rash. Um, uh, Tannis from uh, South Central Public Health District, and we're talking about the measles. Um, and uh, yeah, we're joking about a rash, but uh, measles, measles is serious and kind of scares me a little bit, a lot of bit, actually. <sighs> yes, measles is a highly contagious virus. That, yeah. um, that it, I thought we well wiped out, right? It had been gone for some time, <laughs> yes. And then it's it's made a comeback lately. Wow. Yeah, and, and in the news we heard about, uh, you know, a lot of people, like almost the entire park at Disney, um, the people attending the park and, you know, the people working at the park, just boom, they got measles. And now it's confirmed in like 11 states. Ah, so, um, okay, so so I'm, I'm already afraid. So, so tell me... Uh, Tell me about the, the nasty measles. I mean, tell me what to look for and stuff. So usually you would start with like a fever, usually a high fever, okay. um, runny nose, cough. You might get uh, eyes that are red and watery, kind of like a pink eye. Okay. Um, and a cough. These all sound like normal, normal. stuff, right? Nothing yes. to be freaked out about. Yes, but then okay. you uh, will develop a rash. Okay. It's a, it's a red kind of blotchy rash and it usually starts at your hairline okay. on your forehead and it will move down so okay. it always starts up high and goes down low okay so so these things it doesn't sound that bad it sounds like not really you know hey look at my rash no, nothing you want to show off to people but it doesn't seem that scary but it can escalate right yes and it, it it's very contagious when you have that great and it can lead to other complications you know ear infections can okay. lead to pneumonia um, it can cause an infection in the the brain, so it okay. it can cause cause problems if it's not. So potentially it could kill you though to, if it if that's if it always a possibility. Wow. Okay. So yeah, this is bad, guys. Um, okay. So uh, when I was a kid, I, I was vaccinated, and I know uh, there's a lot of controversy. Uh, I won't give my opinion. It's not nice. Um, but I am vaccinating my child, and I get it. Every parent's got to make that right decision for their kid and i wouldn't if someone tried to tell me what to do for my kid i would be i wouldn't be cool with it but um as a professional fill me in should we get vaccinated should we vaccinate those kids we recommend being vaccinated okay Um, children should have two uh, vaccines for the measles mumps rubella one at the age of one okay and then one when they start kindergarten about four or five and adults should have um two doses of the measles, mumps, rubella as well. So you can check your adults can check their immunization records and see if they they're unsure, don't know their immunity set status. They can get a dose of the the vaccine. Okay. See, for, yeah, I'm thinking about my. I'm shallow. I'm thinking about myself. Um, but you know, I'm I'm pretty sure I was vaccinated. But after you list all these scary things, I you know, and I have a child, I want to make sure, and it's so contagious, I want to make sure that I'm taking care of me. So I can take care of him. So people, if you're listening, and you think you got vaccinated, go just get just get it checked. Yep. Not bad at all, right? Check your records and they can actually do blood tests to really? check and see if you have immunity. So okay. if you want to go that way, you can get a blood test, you know, go see your health care provider. They can order a blood test and you can see if you're immune to to these wow. measles. Very cool. And um uh, there's a lot of uh what what if there's a woman that's pregnant? I mean I know when I was pregnant, I was like, what should I get? Uh, should I get the flu shot? Should I do this? So what should pregnant women do? Should they wait? Should they get this done? Or Pregnant women cannot get that vaccine. Okay. It's not recommended for pregnant women. So they would need to Just talk wait. to their health care provider and decide what the best course of action. If there's not uh, potential for an exposure, mm-hmm. you know, they can wait. Um, they do test for some of these during pregnancy mm-hmm. to see if you have immunity to these diseases. And gotcha. you can follow with your health care provider. Nice. Wow. Oh, well, thank you. This is really great information. Um, is there anything else you want to include? Um, we just recommend checking your vaccine records, making sure your children are up to date and um, for adults yourself as well. Nice. Okay. And, um, you know, go see uh, South Central Public Health District. They can see you, uh, whether you're in Bellevue, Gooding, Jerome, Minicaja, Twin, or, of course, online, phd5, the number five, dot Idaho, dot gov. And uh, you guys got some great info on there. And thanks for coming out and talking about the scary measles. And let's make sure it doesn't get spread in Twin. Okay, guys? Ah!
protect my baby. Okay. Um, 98.3 The Snake.